rising economy in West Africa. Avery Coast is on the right business track. We are now in Abidjan to see how Avery Coast will achieve its ambition of joining the emerging countries by 2020. Ivory Coast is witnessing impressive growth, with a GDP rate of 8% last year, according to the World Bank. And the world's biggest exporter of cocoa beans now wants to diversify. The government hopes it can perform an economic makeover and finally put an end to the violence and political turbulence that has dominated it since 2002. A national development plan has been set up to lay the foundations for an emerging economy. We met the Prime Minister who explained his economic vision. This 2016-2020 plan is valued at $60 billion. Our goal is to fund this plan, 40% from the public sector to support all infrastructure-related activities, and 60% from the private sector. And we also have a strong investment of human capital to support education, professional training and the healthcare sector. More than 60% of the population is under 35 years old, and with this in mind, the government says it will boost the education sector as well as elevate women's status in society. If it is going to attract foreign investment, Ivory Coast must boost the skills of young people entering the jobs market. Meanwhile, the government has promised to cut business taxes. We have an investment code, that's one of the most attractive laws. It includes an important exemption in terms of tariff reduction, but also the exemption on VAT. But we'll ask investors and counterpart that the local returns, like creating jobs, should be considered as an important part of the investment. The Ivory Coast is one of the most promising economies in Africa, with a diverse sector for investment, including telecommunications, energy, real estate, mining and agriculture. And the new Ivory Coast Investment Promotion Centre is essential to help match opportunities with potential investors, as well as providing useful connections. The first thing for an investor to do when he arrives on the Ivory Coast is to get information. The CEPICI was created to make a one-stop shop for investors. They only have one place to visit where all their paperwork can be done. You have the information, you have assistance, and you can create your company in one day. So this one-stop shop makes things easy for investors. The Ivory Coast has the advantage of having a diverse community for investment, which starts from agriculture to services. In Ivory Coast, there's the agricultural raw material. The first opportunity is agro-industry and industrial processing. Ivory Coast is ranked as the world's biggest producer of cocoa, producing a record crop of about 1.9 million tonnes. It's one of the most promising industries in the Ivory Coast. Semwa, a French chocolate producer and one of the first investors in 1997, established a factory in Abidjan with an investment of 6 million euros to produce chocolate 100% made in Ivory Coast. The activity here makes it possible to process 70,000 tonnes of cocoa. So we receive cocoa from the cooperatives and we do all the transformation from the cocoa bean to the finished chocolate. So what is the magic recipe for success for foreign investors? The key to success the key to success, first of all, is training. International groups, when they invest here, they look for this type of profile. Ivorians who are well-trained and who have expertise. So we come back to a point of convergence between a national policy of promotion of national executives and a need of international investors who seek local competence. For the government, the vision of development is about exporting confidence and trust to the international market. And it wants to send a signal that the ambition is there in Ivory Coast for it to rise far above 15th place in current African economy rankings.